Hello, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll show you how you can easily whiten eye and teeth in Photoshop. So, this is going to be like a tutorial about eye and teeth whitening. And I want to show you how this technique can be really tricky and how people often misuse it. And if at all you find this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button on this video. I know most of you tend not to hit the like button, but I just have a request. Just hit the like button because as you're hitting the like button, you're going to be helping YouTube to recommend this to more people out there to learn from this very channel. So in Photoshop, after you have done skin retouching, it is ad usually advised that you do the eye and teeth whitening as one of the last processes. Remember, sometimes when we are color grading, it tends to also affect the white area of the eye and it may not look natural or as natural as possible. So make sure eye and teeth whitening is the last step for your retouching because Sometimes we tend to cool down the image and that cooling down, if at all we have whitened the eyes before adding the final adjustments, it may make the eyes and teeth blue instead. So we want to be sharing or learning from two techniques of eye and teeth whitening and the very first one is going to be using the adjustment brush tool and we're just going to be learning how to set it as a preset so that every single time we just run into the camera roll filter we can simply look for that preset brush and just paint in the eyes and teeth and the second one is going to be about how to whiten eyes and teeth in Photoshop and we are just going to learn how to record that action within Photoshop so stay tuned so after doing the adjustments and color grading to your images just come right here to and create a stamp visible by hitting shift alternate control E on the keyboard or shift alternate command E on the keyboard and you're going to come to filter and come to the camera roll filter. So when you come to the camera roll filter, you have to first of all analyze what colors you want to eliminate in the eye. So I'm, you can use command plus to zoom in, just like that. And you, ha you can zoom in and hold down the space bar and left click to hover around. So in order to whiten eyes, make sure that you analyze the colors within the white area that you want to eliminate. And for this case, in the eye whitening we have or in the white area we have some greens and a little bit of yellows and sometimes we may have some pinkish color or brownish color or even reds so in order to whiten eyes we're just going to come to the adjustment brush tool and you can see if at all you want to eliminate a color for example the yellows and greens for example in this temperature and tint slider you can see yellow has an opposite of blue and green has an opposite of magenta so in order to eliminate for example the yellows we have to move this slider towards the blue side meaning it is going to be having less of the yellows so just want to eliminate the, the yellows so as you are taking this make sure you don't exceed 20 because when you take it all that it means it is going to be too much of blue and you just want to have natural eye whitening so make sure you don't exceed 20 and for the tint, as we are eliminating the greens from the white area of the eye, make sure that you don't, you take it up to around, you don't exceed 60. And since we want to make the eye pop a little bit more, just going to intensify on the highlights up to around 4 and also do the same for the whites up to around 4. So since we have other random colors, like I said, maybe reds or browns in the white area of the eye you're just going to come to the saturation and simply desaturate those other remaining colors and for this case we're not going to also exceed negative 60 and after doing that we're just going to paint in the white area of the eye just like that using the adjustment brush tool but as you're doing this make sure that you first of all set or save your brush as a preset so just come right here and come and select new local correction preset and you can rename it to whatever you want and hit ok so after saving it i already saved mine the next time you open up the adjustment brush tool just come and click on that preset and just come and start painting to apply the whitening effect just like that you can see it is now whitening as the eye in a very nice and natural way so just paint only in the white area of the eye because when you paint on skin this brush is already desaturated it means that it's also going to desaturate 
the skin areas just undo that by hitting command or control z to undo and use the space bar key and left click to move to the second eye and simply whiten the second eye just like that and you can see that this is really nice and effective and when it comes to the teeth you just come and you can paint each individual tooth and just do that if at all you make a mistake we have the eraser tool within the adjustment brush tool which you can use right here and you can come and erase if at all you have worked on an area that you don't want to whiten so basically this is how to whiten eyes naturally but the mistake I see most people often do is they tend to take the temperature slider all the way towards the left because when you do that the eyes are going to be robotic and they're going to be blue so you have to be careful with the temperature slider and this doesn't look natural and realistic and people will look funny so make sure you keep it at a very realistic level so i would advise you keep between 20 or below 25 rather and you can see the before and the after this is how to do it in the camera filter so i'm just going to hit cancel so that we can learn about how to whiten eyes and teeth in photoshop and how to create it as an action so in photoshop you have to ensure that you first so we're we just going to be recording the action so just come to window and you come down to actions to open up the action panel and under this just come right here we're just going to create a new group by clicking on this group icon and we're just going to name it to eye and teeth and just going to do that don't know what's wrong with my spelling today so i and teeth and hit ok meaning the action is going to be saved in this folder so I'm just going to come and hit the plus icon to create the action for i and teeth so just come and rename this to i and i don't know what's wrong with my spellings today and teeth so just come and hit record and you can as well create a shortcut for it right here but i don't prefer to use those shortcuts so you can as well assign a color for it if at all you want and just come and hit record meaning every adjustment we are going to be making right here is going to be recorded automatically so like i said in photoshop we just desaturated specific colors so we are just going to come to the hue and saturation and we are just going to start desaturating those colors remember we have a little bit of the reds within the white area of the eye so just come to the red channel and simply come the saturation and desaturate the reds just a little bit up to around negative 20 can do and we're going to come to the yellows and do the same up to around negative 20 so around there and we are going to come to the greens and also desaturate those greens up to around negative 20 and after doing that we're just going to come to the master or the overall saturation and simply desaturate that up to around negative 20 is fine and after doing that we just want to add a slight bit of blues within this white area so i'm just going to come to our photo filter and come and choose a calling filter 82 and this is going to be a little bit intense so just take it down so i'm just going to leave it at around 15 15 is fine and it looks a little bit natural so we just want to brighten up the whites in this case we're just going to come down here and we are going to come to our curves adjustment layers and click in the middle and just brighten up the eyes just like that so after doing that we are going to simply stop at this point and the mistake i see most people use is when they add this photo filter or calling filter they tend to take it overboard and it tends to look bluish in color so just don't overdo that so just going to keep it uh between 20 and 24 and if at all you feel like you still have those random colors you can come back to the hue and saturation 
and still desaturate the overall image just right there and these are the adjustments that we have you're just going to hit control command and click on every adjustment that we have just applied and put this in a group by hitting control command g on the keyboard to put them in a group and you're going to come to this layer mask icon and click on it and it's going to create a layer mask and we just want to hide that effect or hide it behind this and that is going to create a black layer mask so we're just going to select the white layer mask and hit ctrl command i on the keyboard to hide or invert that layer mask and we are done creating the action so we're just going to come to our actions and just hit stop to stop recording our action so after doing that we are now going to proceed so you are done saving our action so we just want to proceed so just come and get a brush a soft round brush so just come to the settings right here hardness at zero opacity and flow at 100 make sure that you have black and white right here and make sure you have white on top meaning the brush is going to be revealing that what is hidden behind the black mask so you have to zoom in reduce on the size by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard and start painting just like that in the white area of the eye so just do that so just paint only on what you feel should be white in the eyes use the space bar key and paint the other eye just like that and when you feel like you have made a mistake you can switch and make the brush black and erase the effect from that area so just come and switch back to white and whiten the teeth to if at all uh, you need to and you require to do that so you can see that this is very natural and highly realistic and when you feel like you have overdone it or you have taken it overboard you can come to the opacity and reduce on the overall opacity for your eye and teeth whitening so before after before after so basically this is how to do eye and teeth whitening in photoshop and if i told you want to see how the action works just come and delete this and just come to actions and play your eye and teeth whitening action and just get the brush and just come and start painting to whiten the eye and teeth so basically this is how to do your eye and teeth whitening in both the camera roll filter and for those that don't have camera roll also i've showed you how to do the eye and teeth whitening in photoshop so this is it for today's tutorial and if at all you have loved it don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating